New at 4.30, billions of taxpayer dollars have been poured into USS Gerald R. Ford. Almost four years ago, Newport News Shipbuilding delivered the massive carrier to the Navy. But is it ready to be deployed? Alex Little hails embarked on the Ford to give us a look at its progress at sea. Strapped up and strapped in. For the first time in 2021, climb aboard USS Gerald R. Ford. Performing carry qualifications for the fleet, uh, shooting Super Hornet aircraft off the bow, one after the other. It's been months since 13 News Now last embarked to the naval carrier. Since then, every takeoff and landing is coming easier and faster for the crew. Dry run so that we know that it's safe to fire live missiles at uh, towed targets. As of November, 70% of the carrier's post-delivery tests and trials had been completed. Months later, now 94% complete, meaning another chapter in the Ford's journey to being a fully operational combat carrier is coming to a close. New technologies like the ship's weapons elevators are almost finished. So we're over 93% complete with those. But all the advancements made by the sailors only prepare them for one of the ship's final tests shock trials. The Ford is now months away from rigorous testing this summer to see how it would hold up in real combat situations. The Ford's new commanding officer, Captain Paul Lanzalotta, says from what he's seen, he's confident in his crew and his ship for what's ahead. I don't see significant barriers to success from now until then. From the Ford, Alex Little Hales, 13 News Now. The last aircraft carrier shock trials were conducted in 1987. That was for USS Theodore Roosevelt.